On the 6th of April, time 4.30, the team were getting ready to leave for Aikos en route to the site where we drilled the ball. On 6.30 a.m., on our way to Aikos, we realized that our third car wasn't in sight anymore. Waiting for the third car, unfortunately, we got a call notifying us that the third car with the other crew members got into a breakdown and they were not able to catch up with us. So we decided to move on with our journey to the site. Later on, the time 8.30, it took us at least 5 hours to arrive at the site. As we got to the, st the site, the crew started by offloading the load from the truck. Here, Mr. Spindy was talking to one of the drivers. Here, a fellow crew member was telling the others to keep a distance as he was trying to offload the pipes from the truck so nobody could get injured in the process. Unfortunately, schools were closed, so the students were not able to come and witness the opening of their new boho, as most lived far from the school. However, we were joined by a teacher who teaches at Aikusi Primary School, as he was having a chat with Mr. Spindy. An hour later, as we finally got everything on the ground, it was time for the crew to Here, start Mr. setting up was giving the, the crew members instructions on how to set up the water pumps, pipes and ropes for it to be stable in the water. Here, a fellow crew member decided to throw a stone into the borehole. It is done to determine if the water is closer to the ground surface or further. Luckily, the water was closer. As it was time to put the water pump into the borehole, Mr. Spindy first started by giving the crew instructions on how it is going to be done. Later on, it was finally the time to put the water pump into the borehole. This process is supposed to be done carefully as the force pulling the pump is really strong. A person may easily get injured. However, Mr. Spindy taught the crew a good tactic on how to lift the pump and pipe so they may not suffer from any known injuries they could get while lifting the pump. Finally, the pump was in the borehole. The time, 2.17 p.m. Here, the members of the crew are filling up the trenches with concrete to help secure the solar panel stand. As it is the first stand they decided to mount. At this very moment, the solar panel stand was up and strong. The crew started mounting the solar panels together in their desired places. We finally mounted our final solar panel and were now able to close the solar panel stand. As we finished with the solar panel stand, now came the Jojo tank stand slash the challenge one. Now came the challenging part, lifting the heavy Jojo tank plate. Since the plate was very heavy, we could not lift it with our hands and connect it to the poles. So later, Mr. Spindy came up with a plan, saying we should put the plate on top of the truck's bars as it would be easier, mounting it to the poles. As we finally got the plate up the poles, immediately the crew started putting concrete into the trenches. After the crew finished putting concrete into the trenches, the Jojo tank was finally up and standing on the Jojo stand. Here, other two crew members were tying up the Jojo stand. 
later on the stand that holds the VHD box was mounted and the control box was connected. At this moment, the VHD meter was running perfectly. However, due to insufficient sun, the VHD meter showed us a reading of ALS, meaning there was less energy from the solars to pump water to the Jojo tank. Later on, a helpful hand decided to make the crew members a hurtful lunch. As she said, it is the only way to say thank you for what we are doing for her community. A man by the name Mr. Masina is one of the elders from the community. He was very grateful about the water project as he gave a heartwarming speech about it. At this moment, Mr. Masina was very grateful for everything that JP Dondolo family has done for Aikus as a community. He also thanks dearly from the bottom of his heart as he said that the children can now actually, actually practice irrigation at school. And they can actually, it actually gives them a bigger picture on how agriculture can easily be done. And that they, they're also given a mindset whereby they, they can teach their family members, relatives, friends, and everything, everything about ir irrigation. Mr. Spindle was also thanking the community of Aikos of being part of the water project and helping his crew in the challenges they occurred as the community members were really a helping hand to him. The man before you is the councillor of Aikos, and he was giving a vote of thanks to all the people that participated in this water project. The community members were very grateful and happy about the new water project in Aikos, leaving big smiles on their faces. Fortunately, we were lucky to have a chat with two young girls at the Aikos Primary School. Told us that the water crisis at the school and community has been a big challenge to their lives, and the fact that with 